The bee! The bee button! And you gotta stay with it for only cannoli. As the name of the video suggests, this entire arcade system is run by this pretty looking clock that I made. Well, it's kind of a lie. It's not run by the clock. It's run by the guts that are hidden by the clock. So because Mama didn't like the cabinets like these that a couple friends of mine built, I had to hide it in plain sight. Originally, it all was run off of this tiny computer board. This little guy. This is called the Raspberry Pi Zero. This is a $5 computer. Everything you need. All computing power runs Linux, runs a software called Python, can be run straight off of this little board. The drawback to this little board is you have to plug in a lot of things to it. And they're all tiny and micro. So, I got a bigger board. Called the Raspberry Pi 3. The benefit of this board it has onboard Wi Fi so you can network all your devices together and it has Bluetooth capability, which is great because I don't want to plug in a controller. I want everything to be completely hidden and I want to be able to sit across the room on the couch to play these games. So it's got four USB ports, Ethernet port, uh, a control out port in case you want to hook up like a camera. So if you want a nanny cam, you can totally hook this up too. It's got a power in and an HDMI out and a small SD card in the back. So this computer board runs a program called RetroPie, and it's loaded with uh, game software. So the files that the games are in are normally stored in that cartridge, that big cartridge or the disc that games come on. So we just took the essence of those games, stacked them onto an SD card, it runs through the RetroPie software, and we can play it on the TV. And the best part is that we can hook up this Bluetooth controller and we can sit across the room on the couch and play games instead of sitting right here in front of the TV, which is going to ruin your vision. Everybody knows that. So, let's play some games. So this is the RetroPie interface. You load this onto the, the Raspberry Pi computer board, and then you load in the, the ROMs, the game files. And this program is awesome because it can read which system you're playing. So I have a lot of games loaded for the original Nintendo. Paperboy, Cubert. Tons of games. Deacon and I were playing Darkwing Duck the other day. Great game. So the, the NES Classic that came out for $60 that you can't buy anymore because they stopped making it was loaded with 30 games, which is nice. But you can load this with as many games as you want. And you can use different systems. Nintendo 64, GoldenEye, really the only game, and we should get a uh, Mario Kart. That was a good game, too. Super Nintendo. Lots of good games on Super Nintendo. Sega Genesis. I only have a few. We were Nintendo people. And you can play all of these with a Bluetooth controller sitting from the couch. So the best part about this is the price point. So you can buy a new Xbox for about three or four hundred dollars, or if you're like me and just like playing older games with your kids, you can be all in with this whole project, 
for about 70 bucks. Uh, that little Raspberry Pi board that I showed you, where'd it go? This little guy, you can cut that down dramatically. This is $5 if you don't mind having things plugged into it. I wanted some Bluetooth capability, which you can get with this. You just need more cables. Because originally, I was going to hide it in this 3D printed vase that I made. But I would have had to plug a controller into it, kind of negating the point of hiding it in plain sight. So I got the upgraded board, which is $35. I got the upgraded Bluetooth controller, because the other one broke, which was about $40 on Amazon. Uh, so all in about $70, give or take. The RetroPry software... It's free to download. I will link the video on how to do all that in the cards above. Follow through. It did not take a lot of programming. It took formatting an SD card, uh, loading a software onto that SD card, putting it in the Pi, finding ROMs, which is the difficult part. Google had to do it. There's some legality weird issues, which I'm not going to get into, and I'm not responsible for you breaking the law. So Google where to get the games, load them, and have yourself a good time. So our RV, besides being... A really awesome, warm, and inviting place is now hooked up with the coolest arcade system on the whole block. Word. So, word. So if you want to come down and play some games, come knock on the door. We'll be in here playing Donkey Kong. Thanks for stopping by the PI Workshop. This is the impossible game that you can't beat. Even now, as a grown man, I still can't beat this game. It's garbage. Hello. This game is so hard.